Hey guys, today we are going to talk about something a little bit different. Today we are going to talk about the Jeekery. Now the Jeekery came over from Japan just like pretty much any other kind of lure presentation has to the States. Not many know of it, but it is an excellent way to catch lethargic bass. Now, what I'm going to show you a little different today is a little bit of how to rig it. I don't normally really show you guys how to rig things, but today we are going to see how you rig this. So let's get started. Now what you're going to need is a pair of split ring pliers, which 99% of us already have. And you're going to need two small split rings. Now for the convenience of this video, and to save some you from seeing me aggravated as heck, because it takes a little bit of aggravation sometimes. I've already put a split ring on this cylinder style drop shot weight. I like the cylinder style drop shot weight because it comes in and out of rocks easier in cover and doesn't get hung up like the teardrop style drop shot weight. So you need a drop shot weight, two split rings, and you're going to need a hook. Now this is a 4 aught Gamagatsu extra wide gap hook. I prefer the Gamagatsu. They're just more durable and last longer than your average hooks. Now, we need to put this split ring on this hook. So we're gonna grab our split ring pliers. Get it started. Now something I do just to show you is I clasp that hook right inside my index finger. That way you're not stabbing yourself with the hook and uh, hurting yourself. Of course it helps if I have the split ring set in the right spot. Now, all I do is just like a key, which can be a pain, is slide it into the split ring. Like so. Get it started. Push it on through. Now, grab your split ring pliers and just run it right around there. Hopefully you can see this in the camera. There, voila, you have your split ring. Now what you need to do is connect this split ring to that split ring. You could do it either way. You could put your split rings together and then attach it to your drop shot weight or put your split rings together and then attach it to your hook. Whatever way works easier for you. This is just the way that I'm doing this today. I probably would have put my split rings together and then put it on the drop shot weight because that's probably the hardest part for me and then attach the hook. But since we're already started here, this is what we're doing. It doesn't really matter how you do it. So connect your, if I can get my fat fingers out of the way here. I didn't show you connecting the split ring to the drop shot because I probably screamed and cuffed a couple times and I know you don't want to hear that. Stop! You have to stop. It's really, probably, it's really not that hard. It's just a little bit frustrating for me. And, uh, I'm not the most patient at times. Just like now. There we go. Now, as you can see, that's pretty much the finished product. Here's your cylinder style drop shot weight, your EWG, EWG hook. Now what I'm gonna do, I like to use this with a crawl top or a creature top bait or a paddle tail. Paddle tail works great. And all you want to do is just put it on your hook just like a Texas rig. Throw it through there, flip it around. Just like a Texas rig, okay? Perfectly hooked, perfectly straight, just like a Texas rig will be. The difference in this, fishing this, this cylinder weight 
what is it doing? It's hanging down. So, your paddle tail is going to be up like a bait fish feeding on the bottom. And your tail is up here moving. So, basically, it's going to be moving along the bottom just like a bait fish eating on the bottom. And a bass is going to do what? They're going to attack it. I already have a, rip, a craw. This is a natural forage baits. Mad craw. Just like the Strike King craws. I really love them. If you haven't checked out, check out natural forage baits. But I'm going to show you pretty much the same interest. The cylinder weight is going to come right through. And what's going to happen? These craw legs are going to be on top in the water. And anytime you're dragging that rod or barely shaking it, what are those craw legs going to do? They're going to tangulate in the water. And this is going to be nosed up on the bottom. So when bass are lethargic and they're not feeding and they're set up on the bottom, where are you at with your bait? You're right there on the bottom bringing them a meal. Like I said, if you haven't tried the Jika rig, definitely go out and buy you one. Like I said, you can buy one pre-rigged or you can buy the stuff and rig them to get together yourself or you probably already even have the same exact parts in your own tackle boxes. Throw you one together, throw it out and try it out and, and you'll see how much more successful you can be because this shows the bass a different presentation and this is on the bottom when the bass are laid up and lethargic. Anyhow, if you're new to my channel and you'd like to see more videos like this, check out my other videos. Make sure you smash that subscribe button below. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope y'all have a great day.